Hi again, and welcome to step one in this getting started video tutorial for Top Solid 7. In this first tutorial for working with bottom-up assemblies, we're going to start by introducing you to how to create an assembly document and include your first component. Let's take a look. To begin the clamp tutorial, the first thing that we need to do is create a new assembly document. In this case, I'm going to create it in my practice folder within the bottom up assembly tutorial folder. To do so, I'll right mouse button click on the practice folder and choose assembly from the contextual menu. From here, I'll validate, and like that, you're now in your new assembly. You'll notice that it's asking you to name the file here. It's in full edit mode already, so all you need to do is give your assembly a name. In this case, I'll call it my clamp. After, we're going to use bottom-up assembly techniques to include our first part. In this case, I'm going to go into the provided sample folder within the bottom-up assembly folder and expand the parts list. In here, we'll find a part called base. Now, to include the base part into our assembly, it's as easy as drag and drop. All you do is left mouse button select and hold on the base file here and drag and drop it into the design space of the My Clamp assembly document. And like that, Top Solid has included this component into the assembly. Now at this point, we're actually done with this part, but I want to take a, just a minute and explain what just happened. Here we've included this component into the assembly, and we've included it automatically fixed in space in the assembly. This is done to help allow basic mechan uh, mechanical motion to function within the software.